medial prefrontal cortex is involved in helping establish in-group and out-group. Dr. Eagleman detailed in his PBS series on the brain that the medial prefrontal cortex is less active for people when seeing photographs of the homeless because there is less connection to them. The brain is shut off to their pain as if they have less existence or worth. This is the tragedy of indifference. The humanity of the other is lost just as our own humanity is lost. Love is lost. There are several parts of the brain associated with prejudice. The amygdala involves our association with threats. As the mind creates and maintains understanding of threats, our ideas can become reinforced. The anterior insula involves a process of negative affect. The medial prefrontal cortex helps put things in perspective and bring them into a mental picture. While the medial prefrontal cortex helps us categorize the world, the downside is that our categorizations can be completely false, though they seem real to us. All these structures taken together help categorize in-group and out-group. Within cultural contexts, when we are told to believe stereotypes and prejudice, the neural circuitry to perpetuate hate gets strengthened and then passed on to the next generation, as does indifference. Sadly, prejudice can be either conscious or unconscious. Many people who are full of hate might not realize there's another way because of how they were raised or taught. But our faith gives us another way. We are taught to love God with all our hearts and our minds and our souls and to love our neighbors as ourselves, to pray for those who persecute us and to love our enemies so that there is no outgroup.